directed by Claudio Fay, the director of Hollow Man Part 2. We are talking No Way Up. And this one stars Colm Meaney, at least he's the recognisable uh, character actor in this movie. And this is essentially a shark attack movie uh, produced by one of the producers from the movie 47 Meters Down. And this does have a flavour of 47 Meters Down in it as well. It focuses on a, um, an, an aeroplane, effectively, that has engine trouble when it kind of hits a uh, flock of birds and ends up kind of going down in the ocean. Uh, and this plane ends up kind of going in the water and being submerged. And a few survivors uh, are holed up in a kind of air pocket within the kind of the fuselage of the plane. However, the plane's wreckage is slipping off the edge of a kind of... Uh, um, a large kind of cavern or kind of drop and there is sharks in the water who are feasting on the bodies of the dead passengers on there and obviously have an eye on the live ones as well. What will happen? You will have to watch the movie and find out. So let us discuss. So let's talk about what works with No Way Up. I have to say for a lower budget movie I think the, the sequence with the actual plane where it's kind of breaking apart was actually really well done and pretty horrifying to be honest. I mean, this is one of those things that will give you nightmares if you're, if, if you're a little bit nervous about flying. Um, it's quite an extended sequence and I thought it was terrifying to watch to be honest. Um, people getting kind of sucked out the plane and kind of getting crushed by uh, obviously all the, the seats and things kind of going forward when, they, when it, the impact happens. I thought that sequence was incredibly well done. And again, I, I emphasise this is a, you know, it's not a mega low budget film, but it's a lower budget film. Uh, but it was very, very well done, I have to say. And then we have to look at the concept as a whole. And obviously we've had movies like Snakes on a Plane, and now we have Sharks on a Plane. They've been in supermarkets, they've been everywhere. Now they're on a plane. Um... So yeah, it's it's a kind of a, a, a fun and kind of silly concept, but they've kind of found a way to uh, to kind of make it work. And obviously, the the added element here, a little bit like Forty Seven Meters Down, is that there is a, a time a time frame here. There's a ticking time element because air is running out in this uh, air pocket within the fuselage of this plane. And, you know, people are, they haven't got time to kind of wait for a rescue. They have to take actions for themselves. The plane is slipping off this, uh, this cliff where it's personally kind of like the, uh, the edge of it and things like this. So there is an element of a, a, a ticking time uh, situation here where people have to make decisions. And, uh, you know, and do it quickly, ultimately, which kind of gives you this, like, what would you do in this kind of situation uh, element to it? Very much, I think, like... Uh, for me, at least, what made 47 Meters Down quite a, a kind of like a, a tense film in many ways. So that was all pretty good. The, the shark effects, they, they do something interesting with, the, with these sharks. To the, they, they somewhat keep them uh, hidden in regards to the kind of like the murky depths. So I don't think you ever really get like a, a full, like good look at the sharks. But I think it, you get enough to obviously clearly make out that there's a shark and stuff. But they're somewhat obscured by the kind of by the the lack of light within these kind of murky depths, which gives this kind of ethereal kind of like floating menace. Um, so again, I mean, we all know what a shark looks like, but so I think it works with the concept of this movie where, you know, there's there's there are these kind of things out there that are kind of like shadowy uh, creatures that you know, lurking slightly out of view and things like that. So I think there are some elements here where visually this movie is, is quite uh, strong, to be honest with you. And the concept, I think, is is a fun one. We get a variety of different kind of passengers and things like this. And I, I have seen some critiques on the acting. I didn't think the acting was too bad, if I'm honest. I thought the acting was fine. Uh, it's not like awards winning here, but I thought it, the acting was fine and the characters... You know, you like who you're supposed to like, you you know, you know, don't like who you're supposed to not like, and things like that. So I think the the, the movie does have, uh, I don't know, okay acting. And there's some kind of, a couple of kind of funny moments in the film as well. And by nature of this film, okay, so there is some tense moments within it. Which which leads me to maybe what doesn't work. I mean, the, the, the pacing of this movie is slower than I would have expected. 
Um, I wouldn't say it's an out and out slow movie, but it's a little bit not as um, kind of like uh, pulse pounding as you might have thought, I would say. Um, and I think they, although the, 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 the situation that these guys are put in is clearly a very tense situation, I think they undercut it a little bit by having um, a little bit of banal dialogue here and there. For example, you know, we, we're all aware that they are against the clock here. But then we get kind of people going into kind of like monologues about when they were a child and how their father didn't help them and things like this. I'm thinking, I'm not sure if that's necessary. I mean, they, they, they don't really seem to be right. We need to do this, that, and let's get kind of cracking. They seem to be a little bit kind of um, just kind of not particularly realistic dialogue. And that to me, I think maybe this is why people are some say at least are saying the acting isn't particularly strong, and although, although I think the acting is fine, I think it's hampered by some quite poor dialogue. There's, it's, it's a very exposition-filled movie in, in many ways, with lots of kind of like dialogue seeming, you know, not particularly natural and, and, and just kind of giving us as the audience like an information kind of dump. And, and as such, the movie just seems like um, a little unnatural in regards to its dialogue. And add to the fact, I think some of the characterizations of these um, these survivors, they seem to have, uh, they're not, I mean, uh, uh, granted, we have a reasonable, reasonably large cast here, and there's not loads of time to kind of put up the characters. But they, they, they do seem somewhat kind of uh, shallow in regards to, they have a kind of one personality type that's kind of, kind of the comes through, and that's kind of all that you'll get. They don't particularly seem very well rounded. So we have not especially kind of like um, built up characters with kind of kind of like uh, unnaturally um, stilted kind of dialogue from kind of time to time. In a movie where I feel like the it, it lacks a little bit in all of the tension that it could have had. I, don't think, I wouldn't say this movie is without any tension, but it's not as tense as I think this movie could have been. Um, and, then, and then we have to look at some of the kind of like the physics that happen in the movie. Uh, this, especially the kind of the, let me just call it the final element of danger that one of our, our main character, Ava, kind of goes through. And I'm thinking, no, that wouldn't happen. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that, that's probably the most extreme example. But there are a few instances here where I just feel like um, the, the kind of like the physics don't, don't really kind of work. And this is one of these shark attack films where we don't really see uh, too much of the, the gruesomeness of the shark attacks. A lot of it is done, you'll see like bubbles or it's kind of done off screen. You're not seeing like uh, all that much in regards to kind of gore, people kind of getting taken, taken to pieces and eating things like that. A lot of it is either obscured or off camera. I think probably to, um, you know, obviously make the, the rating of this movie somewhat lower. So it doesn't really have that visceral edge to it that maybe some shark movies would want. But overall, I've got to say, I think the concept is a fun one. I think the setup is an interesting one. And I think the, the VFX, the, the sharks look a little bit CGI, but you know, I think you can forgive that with the budget. But the, the, uh, the actual kind of um, airplane crashing into the water, to me, was the actual highlight of the film. Um, but that and that was done well. So overall, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. I, I don't think this is a bad film in any respect. I just don't think it really excels in any particular way. But it's a watchable kind of shark uh, action thriller horror movie um, that I don't think ever really kind of like uh, becomes super memorable. Um, but it's 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 a watchable film. I'll give it a five out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Please do let me know, and I shall look forward to seeing you next time.